Assalamu alaikum everybody, my name is Hannah and I'm a recent Muslim convert or revert living in the US and today I'm going to be sharing my story with you on why I converted to Islam. So I was raised Catholic in a pretty religious family and growing up I always believed in God, I always had a strong relationship with him, but I struggled with the teachings of Christianity and Catholicism especially as I got older. And in listening to other people's revert stories or convert stories, I've found that this is the case for a lot of people too. I would ask a lot of questions about why certain teachings were the way they were um, and why we had to believe one way over another. Um, and I could never really get answers that would satisfy me. Most people would just say like, oh, that's just how it is. You just have to believe. But personally, I had a hard time just blindly believing in the faith when I knew deep down that it didn't make sense to me. I couldn't find the answers I was looking for in Christianity or Catholicism, so I eventually moved away from Catholicism and from God in general, especially as I got older. And I felt like if I couldn't connect with Catholicism or Christianity, then that was it. There was no other option. At this point, looking into another religion wasn't even a thought to me because being Catholic was so rooted in my upbringing and my family life. When I started college, I was at a point in my life where I felt pretty directionless and without a purpose. I was actually introduced to Islam during college through a friend, but I never really gave it much thought. In the West, there are a lot of misconceptions about Muslims and the Middle East in general. And though I never really believed any of them, I never really sought out information about Islam. And also in the US, religion isn't really something that's typically talked about. It's not really ingrained in society. So talking about religion or faith wasn't really something that I did unless I was at church. So a couple years later, during my junior year of college, I was invited to participate in an international workshop for two weeks in Jordan in the Middle East. While I was there, I really discovered the beauty of Islam. So I realized just how untrue those stereotypes and misconceptions are about Islam. Just the way that everyone there was so outwardly religious and how religion is so ingrained in the daily life there. And it was so different from anything I'd ever experienced. I was really curious and I wanted to know more about the faith. While I was there, I went to a mosque along with the other Muslims for Jummah or Friday prayer. I didn't understand anything because it was all in Arabic, but I just remember the feeling of peace that washed over me from the time I was in there until the time I left. So even though everything was in Arabic, I still really connected with it and I felt so close to God. And we prayed alongside the Muslims and I was just trying to copy the movements. Um, I didn't even understand what the prayers meant, but I just remember the feeling of being in shajud or prostration towards God. I had just never felt so close to God before. The physicality of the prayer was so unique to me. It was nothing that I had ever experienced before growing up Catholic. When I got back from the trip, I started researching Islam. So I got a copy of the Quran. I was watching all of these interfaith discussions. Um, I was trying to immerse myself in the teachings of the faith just to really learn more and see if this was something that I wanted to be a part of. At this point still, I felt like I couldn't be Muslim because I was just like an American girl who was raised Catholic and was never really that religious growing up. It just didn't seem like I fit the typical Muslim identity. The more I learned about the faith, the more I realized that I wanted to be a part of it and that I wanted to convert to Islam. So I slowly started incorporating changes into my life before I officially converted to Islam. Um, so I transitioned my wardrobe to be more modest and I started to dress fully covered. Um, and in small ways, I was changing the way I would talk or act to align with the teachings of the faith. When Ramadan came around last year, I knew that I wanted to try fasting since it was one of the pillars of the faith. I didn't fast for the whole month, but I fasted for a couple weeks of it. And alhamdulillah, that was kind of what solidified my decision to convert to Islam. So it took me almost a year to fully immerse myself in the teachings and to kind of learn as much as I could before I finally realized that I wanted to convert and I needed to take my Shahada. So I was really nervous to tell my family, but I knew I needed to tell them because obviously converting to Islam is a huge life decision. And at this point I was still living with them. Um, and I was praying like at all hours of the night in the dark, hoping they wouldn't walk in. 
Um, but I knew I couldn't do that forever and I knew that I needed to tell them because obviously their approval meant a lot to me and this was such a big decision in my life that I knew I needed to include them in it. But alhamdulillah, my parents were really accepting of my decision to convert to Islam. I was so thankful because I know that's not the case for a lot of people, unfortunately. Um, but they were just happy that I could find a faith that I could fully believe in and adhere to. So it's been about eight months since I've taken my shahada. Alhamdulillah, it feels like yesterday. Honestly, I can't believe that much time has gone by already. So I'm taking it one day at a time, still trying to learn as much as I can each day and become a better Muslim. I've definitely had some struggles as a new revert living in the US, but alhamdulillah, I know that God is always with me and he won't give me something that I can't handle. So I actually recently started a YouTube channel of my own and on there I have a more detailed convert story along with other videos. If you'd like to follow me on my journey as a new Muslim revert, definitely check out my channel and be sure to subscribe. So that is my story and I hope that this video was beneficial and maybe was able to inspire someone else who's looking into converting to Islam. Thank you so much for watching and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you.